Hi there, this is Chris from the NUI Galway Library's Academic Skills Team. This is a video. Uh, we're going to go through some examples of attempts to paraphrase from an original source. So, um, and uh, so this is a bit of a longer video than some of the other ones we've got, but, um, but bear with me. I think it's a good idea to have a look at some examples uh, to see, uh, to see where, 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 one, where one can go wrong with paraphrasing and wind up in a situation of, uh, of uh, there being an issue with the originality or, or, or with plagiarism. Um, so uh, have a look at this uh, first example here. Uh, I'll give you a few seconds to, to have a look at that and think about it. Okay, so I think this one is uh, reasonably straightforward. Uh, so we've got the original source up there. It's from Sparknotes, which is an online source. And then there's a, there's a sentence from that source. And uh, so we've got an imaginary student here. We're going to be working with Sam the student uh, writes pretty much the same thing. So what Sam the student has probably done is they've probably copied and pasted this from the internet uh, and put it into, into their paper uh, word for word. Uh, and uh, so that's a problem. So, so uh, this is a pretty clear cut case of, of, of plagiarism. Uh, okay, have a look at uh, this example. Okay, so uh, once again, fairly straightforward. Um, Sam, the student, has made a few changes to the original text. They've taken out the what the at the beginning, uh, for instance. So there's a little bit of change there, and a couple of other small changes. But by and large, this is still nearly uh, word for word, uh, a, a word for word copy from the original text, despite a few small changes. So this is still a case of certainly inadequate paraphrasing, if you can really even call it an attempt to paraphrase. Um, so uh, certainly a case of uh, uh, where there's trouble with plagiarism here. Um, okay, so let's have a look at a, a sort of a variation of this of the same example. Okay, so we have a, a lot more changes, clearly. Uh, many of the words have been changed. In fact, a few of the words are the same. Um, we've got a couple of examples of ones that are the same. So, um, so is this adequate? Is this, is this a good example of a paraphrase? Well, not really, because all they've done is they've sort of gone through the, uh, um, the original and swapped out one word for another word. So you can see they've changed festival to event, really to in actuality, mid-level to middling, county fair to a rural gathering. So what's been sort of preserved here is the structure of the original, and that is still a problem. So, and I think that's, that's, that's an area of, of misunderstanding. If you're preserving the structure of the original, um, that doesn't actually constitute a, a, a paraphrasing. And so we still have an issue of, of, of plagiarism here. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the, uh, the next example. So this is a little longer. Once again, um, something where there's quite a few changes that's been made from the original. So Sam, the student, has made a, a fair number of changes. But again, whether the structure is in crucial ways being being preserved. So um, so we can compare up here. It says, uh, so Hamlet depicts hierarchy. And then down here, uh, so it depicts, becomes portrays. Hierarchy becomes chains of command. Uh, social mobility becomes social movement. And then the play, the drama. So um, the words are, are, have been changed to synonyms. Even you know over here, hierarchy becomes a, a, a not a single word but a phrase. Doesn't matter. The, the 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 structure of the sentence is the same, and that same strategy has been employed throughout the passage. So uh, so when that structure is maintained like that, that doesn't really constitute paraphrasing, and we're in a situation uh, uh, where there is an issue of of plagiarism. Okay, how about this one?
Okay, so kind of a combination of approaches here. Um, you know, there's there's been a f quite a few changes made, and yet we still have s some of the phrases from the original uh, uh, being preserved. So biological research model up here, biological research models down here. Um, a slight swapping of on the other hand, where on the other hand it was at the beginning up here, and then the on the other hand is over there. There's still, there, the, the, there, there's been a number of changes, and yet there's still certain structural issues that are similar, as well as um, some of the phrasing is, is similar. So we're still in pretty murky territory here. I would say that this is still um, an issue of, of plagiarism. As well, um, you can see this is from a blog, right? So this is from an online source, and um, for whatever reason, a lot of people, or some people seem to be under the impression that as long as it's not a, a, a scholarly source, then we don't need to maintain um, um, you know, the kind of rigor uh, in terms of, of paraphrasing or, or citation um, uh, when it comes from an online source. But we really, really do. It doesn't matter what, what, what the source is. Uh, you, you need to be maintaining those high standards of rigor in terms of uh, paraphrasing properly and, and, uh, and citing it properly, uh, even if it's not an academic source. Okay, so one last series of examples. This is the last one. So there's the original, and check out what Sam the student has written. Okay, so um, we're back to a, a, a fairly straightforward um, case of plagiarism. Um, not a whole lot has been changed with this with this particular uh, text. There's a couple of changes in the middle here to the words, but then we've got um, a, a phrase here that is pretty much word, word for word the same uh, as the original. So there's some a few small changes, but if there's a, so if this a, a, a phrase of you know ten or twelve or whatever the, the word number is here. Uh, that's been reproduced exactly. Um, that's uh, that's a case of of, of 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 a poor case of paraphrasing, and it is uh, in the end a case of plagiarism. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so we've got the, the same original passage, but Sam the student has tried again, and uh, but um, we ultimately have this is a case where there's been you know more changes made, um, but where we have a, a, the you know the structural uh, reproduction. So um, so experts have pointed to experts have identified so pointed to identified uh, range has been changed to variety, um, uh, key factors. Uh, potential contributors. So the original was potential contributors. That's been changed to key factors. So this is a case where um, they've swapped out some synonymous terms, um, but where the structure of the uh, of the passage has been uh, has been maintained. Okay. Final variation on this example. Okay, so here we actually have a case where um, this has been adequately paraphrased. So um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the sense of the original has been preserved, but it's been, it's been cited properly, uh, and, uh, but it, it's been paraphrased um, so that not only the, uh, the, the phrasing has been changed, but also uh, the, the structure of the passage has been completely, uh, completely changed. So, um, so this is an example of, of, of a passage that has been adequately paraphrased. So um, I hope that's been of some help. And